Hello and welcome! My name is Jessica Jen, and today we're going to be doing some Grimm's Hollow fan art. First of all, hello Skatano, welcome. I hope that you have a good sleep, and thank you for the good wishes. Yes, yeah, so Grimm's Hollow is a game that was brought up, brought to my attention by Simple Potato Farmer in the chat, and we started playing it on Tuesday, and it was so cute. It's so cute and so fun. It's like kind of an Undertale-esque pixel art story game. It's freaking adorable and I love it. So I decided that I would do some fan art. I drew this sketch right after the last stream. I was inspired and I just did it with my mouse. Um, it probably doesn't mean much to you right now, but we're going to develop it into a proper sketch and maybe into a piece. We'll see how much we can get done today. But yeah, so the music seems to be working, which is wonderful. And we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. As you can see, I've already kind of prepped the canvas, got my, my background color and everything. So we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna go with a purple for my sketch today just because of the colors of Grimm's Hollow. Uh, because why not? It just makes sense, so. And I like sketching in color anyway. I typically use like a really dark blue to kind of mimic the graphite look, but sometimes I sketch the color of my subject as well. Because that can be a little bit more interesting. I actually do want to use a brush that has a bit of a point on it instead. Let's see what this one's like. Ooh, this one's actually like pencil-y. I kind of like that. We will, uh, we'll use that to sketch today. That works for me. So I'm just gonna, forgot to pull up reference beforehand again. So I'm just gonna grab that. Just to get what the characters look like. So this sketch is of the baker. So I'm just going to be uh, using that. So I've got, <laughs> got a reference of them up. And we're going to get going. So they have a fairly round head, but it's also kind of squished. So we're going to do it like that. And I'm not going to be doing, I'm probably not going to be doing like pixel art or anything because that's uh, a lot more complicated than I can really do uh, like on stream because pixel art takes a lot of brain cells for me because I have done some of it before but mostly just like little assets, not full characters. I think I've only done one character in pixel art so not exactly well versed in it so we're gonna stick with uh with what i know today i'm being pretty rough with this sketch because i just want to get the idea down so it's a droopy little head and then they have huge puffy sweaters on which i absolutely love sorry not sweaters they're uh they're reaper robes that are knit by Grimm, which is so cute They have real big, loose sleeves. Real cute looking. It kind of looks like a hoodie, but it is. They are specifically called robes. And for. Yeah, I mean, they do have like. It looks like they do have pockets in the front, so. They're kind of like hoodies, but. They're, they just look so comfy. Because they all have the super poofy, adorable sleeves and everything, so. I really want to keep this as, like, a cutesy one. So I'm probably going to make the body a little bit smaller, make the head real big, just like the style of the, chef, the game is. Because they have, like, chibi proportions, because it's a, you know. Pixel art is a little bit, like, really good at that style. 
like a little bit better in that for simplicity and ease, but also just it just looks so cute in pixel art. Because for chibi styles, you don't really define as many features in the beginning anyway. So it kind of just adds to that, which is so adorable. <laughs> I don't really know what any of their hands look like. It looks like they're mostly just in their sleeves, so maybe these do stay a bit puffier at the end. Just gonna take a look at this. Yeah, so it looks like they stay fairly puffy, but they do like come in at the end and kind of hide the hands. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this. I didn't do the posture quite, quite right anyway. So we'll do that. I'm just going to turn my fan on real quick. Hopefully it's not too loud, but uh, <laughs> it is warm in here and I just ate food because... I only woke up 45 minutes before the stream, which is not really enough time to do a lot, so... <laughs> I basically just finished eating, that's why I was like two minutes late or something, because I was finishing up. But yeah, I'm gonna try and... let's try and get the body in here a little bit. I wanna do a really squirt. I wanna make it so... So small, because I feel like that'll look super cute. My concept for this one is kind of like, I had the image of my head of it being like a sticker. So I'm gonna stick with that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and try and use that to influence my, my decisions. But I think I'm gonna do real chibi. I want to keep it. Maybe even this foot could be a little forward here. See, I both love and hate this feature in Crito where your eraser stays the same as the brush you're using. When you're using a hard brush, you want a hard eraser. When you're using a soft brush, you often want a soft eraser. So that's really, really convenient for me. But also, when you're using a softer brush, for like sketching a hard brush is kind of better for erasing because then you can fully get rid of all of it so this is like a bit tricky to go with but oh well i just have to push a bit harder to erase which i already push really hard when i draw so kind of works for me But yeah, I just had this idea and I was like, I want to draw that. I have an art stream coming up and I just finished my thumbnail design. I will draw that. Hello, Skymer Realm. Welcome. Only a couple minutes. I started a few minutes late anyway. But yeah, we're just doing some, some Baker from Grimm's Hollow fan art. Because... Uh, it's awesome. <laughs> the design is so cute and I thought of a funny idea, so. I, s I did this sketch um, <laughs> right after playing last week, just with my mouse. I didn't even pick up my tablet, I was just needed to get it down. And then I thought it would be fun to do on stream today. Like, plug my own gaming stream. <laughs> I, uh, I do know a cute art of it. Which, you know, it's not like I haven't been doing that the entire time, doing that Minecraft art. <laughs> oh, I love this body. He's so squashy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so they're the bakers, they have this apron on. And it's gonna just, like, like a little baby. Just kinda flow like that. 
I probably don't want to do too many like fabric details, so I'll try and keep it simpler. I I do like to do them though, so <laughs> I'll try to uh, try to tame my uh, my brush as I'm going here. Little feet. Yeah, so now it's time to add the arms. I might have to adjust the head a little bit. I'm not quite liking how it looks, but. Uh, for now, I'll just add the the arms just flopped by the side. You were drawing the scenery from Gris today? Where is that? Let me look up. Ooh, a platform adventure game. Oh, that looks beautiful. Heck yeah. I love the colors. It is so pretty. Nice. That that looks like a really good game to draw scenery from. That is beautiful. Yeah, I hope I hope you've been having fun with that. It's awesome. <laughs> it's just so floppy. <laughs> Some dimension. And I'm gonna make sure there are no tangents like that when I actually line it. If I do, I might just like color the sketch, but since it's a chibi, they tend to go pretty quick. So I might have time to like fully beat this up, which would be nice. There we go. I like it a little bit rounder. <laughs> so, now it's time to add the chef's hat, but first I actually, I need to tilt the head down more. <laughs> you watched Miss Moogle play it and was like, yeah, I'ma draw that? That makes sense. It is a very, I'ma draw that type of looking, uh, <laughs> looking game. Such a cute sketch. Thank you. I thought of the concept and I was just like, I have to. I have to. And so I did. And I am doing <laughs> I do want some of the purple there. Oh yeah, they just got a little red low. I'm gonna make sure it's still on its angle. Like that. I think it needs to be a bit bigger though. It takes up most of the chest. And I also want it to kind of squish with the apron so that it looks good. Nice. <laughs> and now the little chef's hat. So it comes just... It's kind of like a circle-y... That. kind of really just plopped on the top of their head, which is so cute. I want it to be flopping forwards a little bit. Just to really add to the, the weight of their kind of sink here. I don't really like the three big lumps on top, because that's not how they look. Do four big lumps instead. Actually, they kind of have five showing, which does look better compositionally, so I am going to switch to that one. So these ones on the edge will be a lot thinner. Oops. So there's like one in the center that kind of goes out like that. And then these two to the side that kind of go like that. And then the ones on the outside are thinnest, because they're kind of pushing back into the background. But yeah, just something real adorable like that. And the top is kind of like even across, 
so there's not like any huge ups and downs or anything. I'll try and keep that in mind as well. And I think making it just a little bit bigger. Not quite as big as my sketch because that was a little ridiculous. I wasn't looking at reference for that. That was just uh, <laughs> from memory. I was like, it was huge on them, right? Um, so just like something like that. Not quite as big as the head, but also about equal to the size of the body. Which I actually kind of want to make a little smaller. So instead of actually making it smaller on this canvas, I'll just make the head a little bit bigger. Oh, nice. So cute. I love how this brush looks. I don't think I've ever used it before, but uh, I need to use it. It's just so like gritty and real pencil-y. That's why it kind of leaves the, the like eraser marks, which is really fun. Okay. Kind of like that. <laughs> and now for the joke that I thought of that I had to make. Or not really, but not really time for the joke for the, the visual gag. If you happen to watch the stream or play Grimm's Hollow yourself or know about it I guess uh, <laughs> then this will make sense to you but if not then you may be a bit confused but uh, this character <laughs> they're they don't have a face <laughs> They don't have a face, so they use the hood of their robe to store bread. So I'm just gonna have this loaf of bread hanging out <laughs> of their face. <laughs> I think I want it a bit further over though. I didn't really want to draw the end of the loaf of bread because I feel like then you'll be like, how is it staying in? But it doesn't quite make sense as far that way as it is. Maybe like there? Hmm. Let's see. Because this will all be filled in pretty dark. If it's like that. Nah, I don't quite like how that looks. It looks like it's not resting on anything. <laughs> it's kind of. <laughs> it looks a little bit like a tongue, like a mouth. Like if I do some some googly eyes. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> oh man, that was kind of funny. But we're not gonna do that. Because it is a loaf of bread. And those will just kind of fade off into the distance here. Have some shadow on it. <laughs> Not surprised? Good, you shouldn't be. I am chaos. <laughs> Listen, I have thoughts, and then they uh, happen. And I say them. And it's not always a good idea, because sometimes they're gross to hear, but, uh, enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so that's kind of the bread. Eh, whatever. So that is my sketch. This is so cute. Oh, I like it. Look at him. I forgot to... Oh. Am I good? Uh... Like that, try and find... Oh, right. That's the select. There we go. I need to hold shift to make sure it stays in the same proportions. 
<laughs> it's so silly, but it's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate that. Just because I want a bunch of these little guys sitting around. So I'll keep that one over there. <laughs> And, I mean, yeah, I guess we're just gonna line it. Like, we're just gonna full, full ham this piece. It's only been half an hour. I might need to find another thing to draw after this. Which, uh, would be cool. I kind of want to use this pencil brush to line it. I really like how it looks. Or this one. Oh, this one's pretty nice, too. It's a little bit less toothy and a little bit more solid, but it's still got, like, a texture to it. Let's see. And I feel like the line should be thick. Because, like I said, it's, like, chibi sticker design is kind of the concept I was going for. Yeah, that's a little too thick. I kind of like that. It looks a little bit soft, but I think that might be alright. We'll have to see how it's looking once we line a bit more of it. I think I love pencil brushes, actually. I tend to use, like, hard... Um, hard inker brushes, but maybe that's why I don't like a lot of my inks and don't like doing it quite as much because I really like how a lot of my sketches look but then when it gets to inks I'm often like eh. maybe that's why maybe I just like softer brushes which would be fair enough I should try experimenting with more because I have used like textured line art before and I always like it so maybe I should start doing that <laughs> It doesn't look quite as clean though, and when I'm spending like that long on something, I want it to look really polished. But maybe that's my problem. Maybe the pencil will help me loosen up a little bit, which would be great. Because since it's supposed to have some texture, every edge doesn't need to be perfect. Because that's a feature. I am enjoying this though, it's really relaxing. This like soft pencil with the just the music going, just hanging out. I think I'm being too precious with it though. So maybe pencil doesn't help that, but I do like how it looks. <laughs> Actually, I actually really like how that looks. So I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, okay. Don't mind me. Just getting a better angle to draw this line on. There we go. Yeah, I mean, there's not really much to say about line art. <laughs> it depends on your style, and it can change based on the brush you use. I'm using the thickness of it to kind of denote where any thicker areas would be so like under the hat here I have thicker in the corners I have it a little bit thicker under the chin I'm gonna press a little bit harder just to have that kind of depth just already included in the line art I know I've mentioned this before but you know I guess once you kind of go over your base process, there's not that much else to talk about. Other than any thoughts that you have while sketching is a great one. Because you have a lot of art thoughts while sketching and coloring, but... I mean, line art's just kind of... you just kind of do it. It's one of the most tedious parts, I find, and I also find it's one of the least describable and interesting parts. Maybe I should try just going 
like doing the painter style where they do a sketch and then they use that like uh like prickly alpaca art she does that a lot she's so good at that style where it's kind of you use the sketch as part of the color and you color over some parts of it and you just kind of like mash it all together I really admire that and I want to learn how to do it but I want to learn how to do a lot of things and as you know I haven't really sat down and done a lot of them so it's all a process I guess but since I don't really love line art maybe I should start trying to actively find other ways to do it like if I just took the sketch that I already had and uh, and colored under it and then colored over some of the lines, merged them all together, use blender brushes and stuff like that, that could be a good way of doing it. Do I want to solidly color this in now or do I want to color it in later in case I want to change the colors for anything? I do like a good line art colored patch, but... And then maybe to have that variety, I won't. That, uh, that chance to change things up. Ew, my hand is itchy again. Scratch break. It's like a stretch break, but less good for you. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'll just kind of leave this vague for now and I can I can decide what I want to do with that after easier to go back and add that line art coloring than to try and take it away <laughs> and by coloring I don't mean colored line art I mean filling it in Blech. I guess I could talk about what the game is but you could also just watch my VOD of it <laughs> you're interested. Tries to remember the point that I mentioned that so I can put a card in the, in the uploaded YouTube bar. Oh man, I think I'm becoming a content creator. Whoops. As far as content creating goes though, I'm not even really sure what my goal is because streaming is fun. I love doing it. So I'm definitely wanting to keep do it just for me, but YouTube videos, I don't know. I kind of like making them. I kind of like having them, but I'm not sure if they're just for fun or if I started them more to be like an investment, like hopefully I get big or something. I do just like storing my saves and stuff like I don't like deleting things so it's actually really nice to have the process and the thoughts that I had during it saved so maybe that's why like an archival kind of thing but also you know I wouldn't mind if I got monetized or or something like that but again I'm not really sure like if that was the point when I started it. Because I was asked that uh, by someone who's helping me out with it a little bit. Like what I was doing it for. And I kind of don't know. Like it's a little fun, but it's also kind of tedious sometimes, so... Not really sure, but I'm gonna keep going. It also feels like I'm accomplishing something, so that's good. I like to have that for sure. Speaking of, later today I should probably uh, edit the video that's going out on uh, in two days. Not even in two days, tomorrow. Whoops. I know you're supposed to, I'm supposed to have a backlog, but uh, I don't do that because I guess I work under pressure. But that means if I'm ever sick, there's just not going to be a video that week, I guess. I even already recorded the script for the current video when I did my last one, so it really wouldn't have been that hard to do it at any point during the week, but I just didn't. Ah man, brain, why you do this to me? 
<laughs> oh, this is so cozy. I love it. I wonder if there are any cosplays of these guys. It doesn't look too difficult. Like, the mask would probably be the hardest part. And, well, for the baker, probably the apron. You would have to either buy a pink apron or make a, a little pink apron and get the all the de decal on it, but... Really, it's mostly just a giant purple sweater. And I guess some black pants. Why do I want to cosplay these guys? Uh... <laughs> If I did, I would probably actually carry around bread, because I'm like that. And I would definitely just eat bites of it, because uh, hunger and bread is good. I kind of like how that looks already, so I'm going to kind of follow. It just doesn't have the same quality as the sketch. Same, like, roughness and looseness. Tricky. Um, yeah, definitely don't like that one. That first one's pretty good. Maybe I'll just try and mimic that. Goes up and across, and then comes to a point, and then it doesn't quite link at the end. Mm. It's fine. There we go. That's alright. She says, fiddling some more, as usual. <laughs> and I am actually gonna still do... I'm just gonna move this over, it's a little too off to that side. Okay. And this fact sleeve... Let's see if I can two-line it. There we go! Oh, he's so cute! <laughs> awesome. Okay, I think I want to make this lump a little bit bigger, because it's that's the one thing that's kind of standing out to me. Is that it's way smaller than the other side. You really love him? Me too. The baker is so good. I can't believe what happened at the end of the stream. My poor heart. I mean, I get it, but why? <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything just in case you haven't played or watched the game, but... Oh. <laughs> why do this? I love you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Sliding the scheme on out. Okay. I think I might try and use maybe that same brush that I used for the sketch to do the shading, or maybe this one but bigger. Also, this part is bothering me because it looks like a giant old tangent, so I'm just gonna pull this side in a little bit. Just because it was thick on this side, thick on that side. Thick all around, which is sometimes a good thing, but sometimes a bad thing. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. Yeah, I like that better. Perfect. So now... It is time for the fiddle. This is kind of what I was talking about with the uh, with the wanting to do art faster in like streams, especially just because you know my my gemstone Minecraft art it did have like a full background and everything, but it still took longer than it should have. Uh, like it took, I think it was eight streams because this is my ninth um so you know that's kind of a lot when each stream is two to three hours 
and I did a, l a couple hours of work off stream as well. So that's like a 20 hour piece, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, <laughs> and should not be like that. Main interest. So, you know, I want to avoid doing stuff quite like that in the future, or maybe like I'll do the sketch on stream, but then line it off stream, and then do the final rendering on stream. Just because the line art takes so long, just fiddling around with it. So I'll try to try to figure out a system that works a bit better for that. Do more off stream or something. Just figuring it out. Okie dokie. So we have our little guy. And I just want to see kinda what this looks like. I think it might be too loose. It look, looks kind of like airbrush shading, which is not really the best a lot of the time. Maybe if I do it smaller and then pull it in. Ooh, that looks kind of neat. Like just doing like a loose color in. Hmm. Uh, let's try the pencil from before, which was this one. What is this called? Pencil for soft, and it's got like it's like one of those uh, one of those infinity pencils, like the metal ones, or something like that. Anyway, ooh. Maybe. I'm just gonna add a add the shading to a layer above just in case I want to do like a an effects layer on it or something. Uh, it looks so hmm. There we go. Alpha lock that so that we only draw oops. On this layer. There we go. Not sure if I love this as shading. I feel like the edge might be too hard and it might be too like clinical. Cause the the brush is still just one pattern, so maybe if I do like a loose kinda messy on purpose shading. Like leaving these bits and bobs just hanging out. Instead of making like a straight line on the edge. Could be neat trying out a new shading style. Why not? Why not? Because I'm scared. I don't want it to look bad. <laughs> um, yeah. Experimentation. It's kind of neat. I do kind of like when people have like textured edges to their shading, so definitely worth a try. Maybe not too much though. Everything within reason. Everything in moderation. Another word for that. Yeah, basically just trying this out. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I hate it. Hard to tell. Yeah, I probably am going to be coloring this, but I don't know why. I just wanted to see what shading I could figure out first. Something like that. And then these would be kind of a darker color. So I might as well just do that with the shading itself. <laughs> I have a final bit to this piece that'll pull it all together in the very end, but for now I'm gonna I'm just gonna continue on. I'm like chuckling to myself about about what I thought of. It's 
super funny and super cute and hopefully you won't hate me for it. I just think it's neat. <laughs> yeah, still not sure if I like this. I might go back with something else instead. Also, I think I might be shading the legs a little bit too much. Not coloring right now, I'm just shading that. Oh well. I mean, it looks kind of neat. I can always see after. Oops. Oops. There we go. That's the one. I think I'm going to color now just to see what we're working with. I might want to keep it all in the same color realm, though. Like, I might want to keep it all as that purple. Also, I'm going to use this one to color as well, which will definitely leave gaps, but that's kind of what I want. I want this- I've decided that I do want this piece to be a little bit rougher, like a little bit more sketchy or painty or what have you. I might even try doing that line thing that I mentioned earlier, where you just kind of go over it. So yeah, I'm leaving purple in it. So I'll do my full base where all the brightest parts are and then just go over it. Ooh, that looks neat. Like that. It's actually not... Ah, oh, man. I do like that. I'm gonna do that again, but I just realized it's actually not this bright of a purple. It's really more of a burgundy. So I'm gonna switch to that before I get too far into this. I, I was just doing what I remembered, which was the overall purple color scheme, but I need to remember to also check what colors it actually are, is this. And the robes are more like this. More like this rich burgundy plum kind of tone. They might even be a little bit more red in some screenshots depends what you're looking at but i think this is the closest to in general and then i'm gonna go up to white for that and just do the same thing that i did earlier but on the correct color this time actually maybe i should just i'm just gonna add a layer above it i'll probably merge those down later but um as I said, I like to preserve things, so. Uh, I have a bit of a problem with that. But this will also prevent, you know, if I need to change the color again later, then I don't have to redo the whole thing again uh, kind of stuff, so. You know, it's useful. Whoops. I've still got to make it an alpha lock layer, though. So that it only colors where I have the color down. Hmm. I don't like how that looks quite as much, but that's what we got, so that's what we're going with. I could also just erase it out a little bit, but I'll leave it there for now. We'll just get the base colors down. So that is the white of the hat. The robe is already this color, but I do want to add some, you know, some variation the edges so I am gonna switch it more to a purple Whoop. and I've also got to switch the tone the saturation of it so I'm just getting a bit of a desaturated purple just around the edges of this burgundy just to give it some more depth so it's not just a flat color <laughs> give me hollow bane curd no yeah. Why did the bread face ruin my heart? <laughs> Cause that's the point. <laughs> I thought of an idea at the end of last stream and I immediately sketched it out with my mouse, didn't even get my tablet out, and decided to do it for this one. But yeah, 
Oh, I'm really liking how this this purple looks with the robe. It's pretty subtle, but that is exactly what I want. Just a little bit to break up the variation. I just want to have them happy. Maybe we'll do that too. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a happy version. Just to just to not feel bad, but this is going to feel a bit bad. <laughs> But yes, the poor baker. Oh, I love this brush. This is... wasn't totally sure with the hat, but now I'm sure again. This is great. The French burns! <laughs> oh, man. I've just realized Gemstone's mouth is open the whole time. I think it's picking up the fan noise. Because I'm using my headphones for the Vado tube because they've got to use two separate microphones. Little peek behind the scenes, don't know the immersion. Um, but they've got to use two separate microphones so that you guys can actually hear me on stream. So I think it's just picking up the, the fan noise. <laughs> And deciding that she's talking the entire time. Oh well. <laughs> it's hot in here. Maybe if I turn it down a little bit. Once it stops uh, making that terrible noise that it does. <laughs> Doing fairly well, simple potato farmer. And how are you? Y'all know how vampires get burned from crosses and they have to look away? That's what the French do to me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that doesn't seem ideal. Sick, oh no. I hope you feel better soon. But stream good and you got games? Heck yeah, what games you playing? It seems like a great day for games. Especially if you're sick. I do hope you get better soon, though. Ooh, and I'm kind of fading the the purple into the bread. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. Vibing with it, heck yeah. Just been switching between Persona 4 Golden and Warframe. Ah! Story game and shooter game to, to balance out your brain. The bread comes for a pocket hood. Human? Bread comes. I have confusion. Oh! The bread comes from a pocket hood dimension. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pocket hood. Pocket hood. I'm, it looks brown when I draw here, but over here I'm actually like in the pinkish red, which is so funny. Color relativity is weird. I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger. I wanna get like a real gentle thing here. Maybe the color's too different. Color's wacky. Yeah, indeed. There we go. That's a bit closer. Also remember to save. Indeed, thank you. <laughs> it has been a little bit, I think. Okay, that, and then I am just going to grab this red and go over it again. Overall, just to... Eh. Maybe not that intensely. Just to lighten it back up. Or darken it back up, I guess. I don't want this to be too, too different. But it looks like some flour on the bread. Okay, so that's the bread and the apron is pink. So I'm gonna grab that as my base. And just move the saturation a little bit. It's a bit darker of a pink than that even. 
I don't want it to be too bright of a pink because I'm not really a fan of this kind of this this flavor of pink. <laughs> so I switched it a little bit more to the red than the purple is. I don't know what it is about like a really purpley pink. Like uh like this color. Where it's like almost a pink, but almost a purple. Something about it. A lot of color mixes don't bother me, but I really don't like bright pinks. Hot pink? Not for me. Actually, really most neons, not for me either. Which is funny since I do such bright colors all the time. But I still avoid most neon. The bread on the shirt reminded me of a pig's snout for a second. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just do a little... Oink oink. <laughs> a, a, a curly cute tail at the back. It's a little piggy apron. Because <laughs> he's a pig from breaking our hearts. No. <laughs> Oh, sad. Yeah. Cruelty. Colors. They're discredited by flavor. Described by flavor? Yeah. Ah, yes. The, uh, the pink is, uh, very savory. <laughs> that neon yellow is a bit too sour for me. Heck yeah, we should just we should start describing colors by flavor. That would make it so much simpler. Cause then it's just a vibe that you gotta get. Instead of like knowing what they're describing actually looks like. Ah yes, the the color of the blanket on my grandmother's old chair. I know exactly what color that is. But if you say a dusty, dusty color, then that can... I don't know what I'm talking about. I just woke up not too long ago. Well, I guess it was over an hour ago now. Over an hour and a half. Whoops. Anyway. Typing on a German phone is so annoying. Ah. Oh. Is the, like, is the keyboard different? Okay, so that is the apron and the bread on the apron. It is brighter. It is brighter in the pixel art, so I might change that later. But I also kind of want the... Oh, excuse me, yawn. The sad vibes. Like the dull colors can help with that a little bit. I'm just going to bring some of this burgundy back into the edges. I did a pretty solid job on this pink, but I wanted to leave some of that texture. It refuses to accept English words. Ah, oh. Yikes. That's because English words are nonsense. <laughs> so much ridiculousness in English words. Alright, so, last color is the pants, and they're all kind of dark, like a dark purple. So I'm going to grab the purple that I used for the shading color for the burgundy, and then make that even darker and a little bit more blue, and use that. Yes. I, when I remembered that I was streaming today, I was so excited yesterday, I was like, Oh, I get to play Grim Solo again! And then I realized it was an art stream, and I was like, oh. Wait a second, I get to draw Grim Solo! <laughs> uh, this game really clicked something. Little footies, yeah. Just wanna bake him cookies and then bake him into a pie. <laughs> yeah, he's a little cutie pie. <laughs> you know Latin? 
Can't you just change it into Grand Solo? I mean, I could, but... Uh... I want to keep it how it is, because... I want to do art, and I haven't been doing too much art recently. I have gotten to do a, a little bit more, and I should have time to do more later this week. Um, but I definitely don't want to skimp out on my art streams. <laughs> if anything, I should do extra art streams. <laughs> because, you know. It's, it's building my skills a little bit more than gaming might be. <laughs> Could always switch after a while, that way I get both. That is a good point. But I'm thinking this will probably be the whole stream today, because we're an hour and ten in, which I don't mind going a little bit longer. Um, but I do have D and D later. So I don't wanna get too I don't wanna go too long or else I'm gonna Make my DM and the other player upset, so. That makes sense, yeah. I am highly looking forward to it uh, on the weekend, though, so. Heck yeah. Hmm? Um, too much. But also, you could just show them the art and Grimsalo. Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty good excuse. Look at the little guy. It's just, like, how could I not be late? <laughs> I was busy. They'll understand, yeah. <laughs> I was clearly busy with something more important than this this game. No, I, I, I love it. It's could be a, a bit of a crazy day, so you don't want to miss it and now I'm anxious thinking about it? Oh no. <laughs> oh. But yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep my, my commitment. <laughs> Don't wanna hold everyone up. You were doing very business streamer things. Indeed. I was working, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was important. And it absolutely is, but did make a commitment. Ooh! That was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't even notice that I clicked something. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm just gonna pull up the shading that I did earlier and see... What might look good. Um, I'm fitbit. Yeah, overlay looks pretty good, except it doesn't show up very well on the hat. Soft light, that looks pretty good, but again, the hat. That looks pretty good, actually. Maybe if I change the color? Okay, now we're getting into the other one. Um, okay, let's, let's go back to a nice and normal. From being nice and warm to reminding me of Darkest Dungeons self-shading. Spoopy. Indeed. I think I might change the color a little bit to be more saturated. So that it's, you know, it has a little bit more to work with. Whoops. If I lock that and then change it. Also a bit more blue because I want to, again, get that kind of sad tone in there. I want to keep it in this kind of portion of the color palette still. Um, but still get those colors in there. Oh no, that looks scary. Okie dokie. See. <laughs> what? Why must it be sad? You'll see. Because <laughs> it must be. The character is sad. Also, what color would you say subjects are? Like how math is 100% green? Um, language arts is probably like yellow. Just because I think it I think that type of stuff really depends on what color your books were. Cuz for me, 
my mouth was a bunch of different types of books, but the one that stands out is like red, but I know a lot of people say blue. I've never heard of math being green though. So that's interesting. Um, but yeah, I feel like for me, you will die on that hill. <laughs> yeah. I feel like for me, math is more of a, a red or a blue. Probably red. Um, I really like how this one looks, but it doesn't really work with the hat. What about a lower multiply? No, it doesn't quite work as well. It's like a very soft shading. Yeah, I don't like that. Math will always be green. Fair enough. But yeah, because I... The reason it's red or blue for me is blue because that's the color of my graph paper book that I had. German blue, English red, biology green, math orange. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I would have to think about it a lot deeper. <laughs> but I also want to try and focus on this, so. But yeah, I mean, there's... I feel like it does depend on what color your books and stuff were, maybe. That seems... Like, that's what I think would make sense. Because I think about it based on the color of books. So for me, it was like, English was yellow... I like language arts. Um, math was probably red because I had that the longest. Um, and then science. I don't think science really has a solid color in my mind. What would be green? I don't really know if green was anything either. A lot more technical things would be orange. Less more technical than math, like engineering. Ah. Uh, is engineering like a general subject? I don't know. I was homeschooled, so I just have like the base ones. I don't know what different schools did or anything. Plus it's probably different. Well, it's definitely different in each country, so. I don't know. Okay. Now I'm doing like a bigger overall shading. Physics, chemistry, bio. And then a big shadow from his big head. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I don't want to go too far into where actual highlights would be. Big shadow. Covered. Sort of like that. And let's see what we can do with this one. Ooh, that looks neat. Like blue mixed with purple. That's cool. I want to do something with that eventually. Again, soft light is pretty good, but it doesn't work overall, so. Maybe like a way lower multiply. Let's do a 30. 25. Mmm, yum chemical. <laughs> I think I got to skip chemistry. Because <laughs> I was obviously not going to become a scientist. <laughs> the most chemistry I got was handling chemicals and cleaning jobs. <laughs> what, why did we have to learn that? I don't know. I don't know why they teach, like, 
chemistry and stuff like that. Like, sure, the basics, but that could be part of a different science course, like a general life science instead of all these intense dives into really hyper-specific ones. Like, most people don't need the intensity of plants biology, right? <laughs> so you can do the breaking pads? <laughs> oh no, not the breaking pads. Drugs. <laughs> alright, so this is kind of alright, but I almost, I almost want to change the line art layer style to make it suit the colors it's on more. Yes. We have to finish Grim's Hollow. We will on the on the next art stream. We don't have time now because you said I'm about halfway through, right? So it's like three hours left at least. Or, you know, around two hours if I'm maybe not the worst gamer. <laughs> As I uh, typically am. That one's pretty good except for the hat, but I could always just change the hat. It's color of the line art. Nice lumosity. Okay, I'm gonna turn it into normal so I can see what color this actually is. Grab that. And I'm gonna make it darker for the body because that was a little too light when I went to lumosity. Again, I need to lock it. <laughs> Wait, you forgot the name you were referring to Breaking Bad, Jesse? Uh, oh, is that like a, a reference? Like, Jesse, we have to finish Grimm's Hollow, Jesse. I don't know the the quote, but is that a like is that what you were talking about? Something like that? I'm sure if I heard the reference, if it's a meme, I've probably seen it floating around, but Ah, yeah, okay, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, what were your stars at? It wasn't that. Lumosity. Right. Wow, how wow. It's fine if you don't know the reference, you are like 87. Hey! How dare you! <laughs> you disrespect me in such a way. Simply preposterous. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am hip with the kids. <laughs> Up on the lingo. I am cool. Normal for gems, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be a really young gem. Sixteen fifty seven, you mean her birth year? <laughs> Listen, just because I love Werther's <laughs> doesn't mean that I'm over a hundred years old. <laughs> See, that was a compliment. Yeah, the gem. Yeah, I'm I'm a shiny new gem. <laughs> Definitely not an old lady. <laughs> um. Yeah. What is it? Old soul. <laughs> is that how people refer to to people like me? Old soul, young brain. <laughs> That's me right there. Definitely not 95. What? No. I could never. You think a 95 year old would be this good at technology? <laughs> oh man. I obviously know what I'm doing. Hides knitting tools. Listen, it was a phase. 
I don't knit anymore. It made my hands itchy. Because I have eczema. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I still want the sphere. There we go. Just needed that little extra touch. So we are right? No! <laughs> it was a phase! <laughs> I definitely haven't been watching a lot of those crocheting videos and wanting to try it out again. Uh, recent. People can make like mushrooms and stuff out of them. <laughs> Yeah, it's looking good. Thank you. Technically speaking, she'd be 366. <laughs> Listen. Uh Just because I'm a fae doesn't mean you can just say my age like that. Uh uh, I think that's good. There we go. Still young for a gem. Yeah! <laughs> Definitely not thousands of years old or anything. Definitely. Whoa! I forgot I had the colors on a separate layer. <laughs> that looks cool. That's like three in human years. Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, baby brain. Old soul baby brain. <laughs> oh man. Alright. So, I also... want this area to be a little darker. In here. Cool. This was... Not at all how I imagined it, but I like it. Well, now you call her a child. Is that really more flattering? <laughs> you don't know. No one knows. Okay, let's see if this text tool works. I don't think it does. Oh. Ooh. Does it? Let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna see if it actually works. Yeah. It did! Yes. <laughs> Text hasn't worked in this program for a long time. I don't know when it started again, but heck yeah. Whoops. Keep the ratio. There we go. Yeah, text hasn't worked in this program for as long as I've been using it. But apparently, uh, it does now. Okay. Uh, everyone look away. Do not pay attention to what I am doing. It is none of anyone's business. <laughs> <laughs> it's not friend. <laughs> it describes my hearing too. <laughs> so here's the original sketch that I did. <laughs> It's part of what I intended in my original... <laughs> in my original iteration. <laughs> Your spidey flesh is gone, remember you? Oh no, they're burning away! They're going to be... They're going to be french fries! Uh, <laughs> the French
French burns you away into its truest form. <laughs> French fries. I think if I... Your last words, be gay, do crime, and it ain't a crime and guess you, unless you get caught. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, they died. <laughs> we went to open my eyes. It's hard to type with the eyes closed. You can open them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whether that whether that's real or not, that's so good. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Bravo. That is oh my goodness. <laughs> excellent. Excellent work. Why is my ending on my head? <laughs> oh, hey, what did that happen? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we lost them. Yeah, to the French. They're now some delicious crispy french fries. What is this? Huh. Why is that? You're going... Eh? Oh. Delete key, not backspace. Riff though, yeah. Riff indeed. Simple potato farmer will be missed. <laughs> well darn, but I do love myself some nice fries, so I don't mind if I do. Oh no! <laughs> They were faking! You ate their legs! <laughs> oh no. Stop, I was napping, you sickos. <laughs> well, it's not our fault your snores sound like death noises. <laughs> oh man. Love brownie babies. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try something wild just to see. Well, mm -hmm. oh, that looks dark. <laughs> Ooh, gloom. That looks kind of neat. Hey, does someone have ketchup? Uh, no, we need we need someone named Tomato Sauce or something. <laughs> okay, that is that. And it's perfect. Ow, my eyes. Uh, anyway. Just no mustard. Mustard on fries? Or cheese? Cheese on fries is good though! There, it's perfect. <laughs> I should probably turn this down so I can tell what I'm actually doing. Okay, let's start at the top. First of all, let's make this about 20 just to see. 
That's pretty good. Oh, that makes it so soft. Well, I agree on those conditions. <laughs> Ooh, permission has been asked for. That makes sense. <laughs> Just the legs and an arm. <laughs> we have it recorded permission. <laughs> That's pretty good. I make it lighter. Uh, maybe just like a slight tint. That just makes it ever so slightly sadder. Takes away just a tiny bit of the brightness. It's perfect. Consent, baby. Always important, even in cannibalism. <laughs> why sadness? Why? Cause it's sad. <laughs> it's supposed to be sad. Yeah, wait, you're a potato too? <laughs> or is that why the question marks are around cannibalism? <laughs> goodness just let you be happy well we do have 20 more minutes so maybe I'll do maybe I'll do a little bit of a happy something for them <laughs> they are still looking a little too colorful though mm. there The Germans sometimes refer to themselves as potatoes. Interesting. I thought that was the Irish. I guess everybody who grows potatoes wants to be called potatoes. Because potatoes are wonderful! Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew, then fry them. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> yeah, that desaturation. Just a touch of sadness. But don't worry, I'll eat you regardless. Can't believe y'all are committing boar in my chat. <laughs> what did you think I was? <laughs> You're welcome. Cannibalism, there's a difference. Uh-huh. <laughs> a very big one. <laughs> you typed this so fast. <laughs> very bug me. <laughs> Alright then. Okay. I can tell you're getting a little defensive, and I'm sure there's no reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, just a little shadow around the city. I want it to be eaten as a potato should be. Uh huh. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, making another person miserable. <laughs> Good to eat every day. <laughs> and my work here is done. Brushes off hands. There we go. Oh. Almost. It's small. Alright. Yeah, 60. What if I make it a pure white? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I can spoil Grimm's Hollow. No! <laughs> no spoilers in the chat! Dang, now we have a war. No! 
I'll make a happy baker, I swear. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> Or the ultimate deterrence, yeah. Like Metal Gear. <laughs> uh, okay. Happy. Happy Baker. Happy Baker. Uh, the. Just gonna go there. Whoops. Don't know where that's from. <laughs> no, the only Happy Baker is a dead one? Wait, what? You were the one who was saying it was too sad. Violence. Just gonna move there. Oh. Oh, they're being violent. They woke up today and they chose violence. Skymarum. No, they're gonna spoil it. <laughs> I use this one sketch. <laughs> well, I told them not to just in French. <laughs> oh no. I'm shaken in fear. Do not spoil. Also, the French didn't hurt me because I refused to read it. <laughs> Big brain strats right there. <laughs> oh, the opacity is low. It's like, why is it not erasing? Reads it out loud. <laughs> oh no. No, don't spoil. <laughs> Skymarum, they have the power. Don't make them use it. Do it, come at me, mortal. No. <laughs> You already googled the ending? Well, I didn't! <laughs> I challenge you to a potato contest. Oh, you've been challenged to the sacred potato contest. Oh no. Those are to the death. <laughs> but which ending? Ah yes, multiple endings. I'm making them so happy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna kill Jessica. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, well. I mean, it is a potato duel. If you must, you must, you know. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Not a trap. Oh gosh, this is so cute. I want to render this one too. Drawing is fun. <laughs> Art is good. <laughs> These look like stickers. Maybe I should design stickers. Obviously not with other people's characters, but... You have the power of anime. Popular and gay on your side. <laughs> Uh-oh. But they have potatoes. Hmm. I just thought of a great idea. Eek. 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 
a tiny chef's hat. Wait, why does the baker have a chef's hat on? Is that a baker thing too? <laughs> you have the power of manga, potatoes, and bio ace on your side. So ha! <laughs> Fred's so adorable. This is a baker thing too. Cool. Baby. <laughs> Yeah, teensy teensy hat. <laughs> wow. Oh, I have some more time. Okay. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Just want to keep this in case I completely lose the <laughs> quality of the sketch. <laughs> I will punch that baby. <laughs> okay, then have fun. No, don't punch the baby. Didn't you want them to be happy? <laughs> or you wanted to be happy, but them being sad. I'm confused by what's going on here. I mean, I know the baker did that, but they just want to be free. <laughs> you want the others to be happy? Yeah. I thought we wanted them dead. <laughs> I mean, yeah, dead, but dead and happy. That too. <laughs> but said in a spooky way. Just inhale talk. It has good mutual. Anyway. Um, da, da, da. A couple more minutes left, but if I can just finish cleaning up this sketch and then slap some color on it, it will look so cute. I mean, I could continue on this page next time and just do like a little sketch page fan art thing. But that is like the fully rendered one and then do a few different sketches of more characters. That could be fun. Such nice art of such a bad person. Are they really that bad? <laughs> they just want to be free. And yeah, they took our little brother's soul for it, but... I mean, yeah, that's pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, just say that out loud, yeah. I mean, yeah, I got it. <laughs> they just took our little brother's soul for it, wait. <laughs> no, Timmy. Oops. But then Timmy and I can stay in the underworld together. Well, no, because he needs to spawn, but I'm not ready yet. They just committed a few war crimes. <laughs> yeah, Skyrim, it's fine. They're already dead. What are we gonna do? Kill them? They want to pass on. Well, Grim's gonna be so sad. Really hope they don't get cursed or something. I was trying to make like the sweater lump down there, but that just looks weird, so. smooth this out a bit. They don't need that big a, a rear end. <laughs> I'm not old. I, I use terms. <laughs> oh man. Grim's a big boy. Just give him a hug. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
technically at the end of the stream, but I just want to slap a little bit of color on it. Um, I should use a more solid. Maybe this pencil? That gives it some texture. I'm coloring inside the line. <laughs> Your eyes deceive you. <laughs> I have many eyes though. Oh, that's a good point. You are a potato. Oh no. I've underestimated. I just do have many eyes. So, wait a second. If you're a potato farmer, does that mean you're a potato who farms instead of someone who farms potatoes? Or both? Are you the cannibal? I'm suspicious. Slavery? <laughs> oh no. I don't know about that one. <laughs> no. We don't talk about the moral morality and legality of their existence. Not quite as catchy a tune, but <laughs> that was a we don't talk about Bruno or Christ in the twenty three. That's uh, yep. Anyway, red. Oh, this is so cute. Erg. Now I want to make a character sheet for it. <laughs> yeah, potato farmer character sheet. <laughs> All I ask is to make me a necromancer. Oh, potato farmer. If you are a potato, pota bleh, potato, then you raise people from the dead. This is kind of like farming them. We're building lore. <laughs> Nope. Oh. You just need a place to grow your taters. Fair enough. Clears out a graveyard to plant potatoes. <laughs> Concerning re request, but approved. Red. Red time. Oh wait, the splits in bread are normally the light part, aren't they? Is this like where the bread is broken through the crust? Oops. Oh well. <laughs> I leave it on the other piece. I think it looks better like that. Is this one? Is it bread? Uh oh, I'm doing shading now. That's problematic. <laughs> if you make it next stream or the stream after, you can make it and send it to. <laughs> Thank you. To save high dirt and starch. <laughs> I really hope those are potato puns because I love it. Um, I can't hydrate right now because the water this morning when I went to fill up my water bottle has like black flecks in it which is either lead pipe decay or black mold so uh iced tea it is it's kind of like hydrating right um <laughs> I don't think gems can drink lead well gems probably could but as you can see, my body is uh, biological, uh, not not so crystalline. So <laughs> probably not the safest idea. There we go. Happy little baker. <laughs> Sounds like if it's lead piping, you might have to sue the people who build the house. If it's modern, at least. No, it is like, I think it's over a hundred years old. So, you know, 
probably not gonna happen. Also, I think it was actually built by, like, the relatives of the people who live here. Not completely sure, though, I forget. Anyway, pipe changing time. Perhaps. I hope I didn't uh, drink a bunch of that yesterday. Some good elbow grease. Yep. Good ol' elbow grease, indeed. But yeah, so this is where we're gonna leave off today. Um, after I just... Why did all of this reform? I'm just gonna hard drive bigger. There we go. <laughs> Why does it color outside the canvas? Anyway, so this is where we're gonna leave off today. Yes, have a wonderful time, everyone. Remember to self care, you all deserve it. Indeed, and you do as well, potato farmer. Take care of your missing legs and arm. Uh. <laughs> And uh, enjoy farming your potatoes. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for today. I think the art turned out really cute. Uh, I'm not sure which I like more, which is unfortunate, because one we spent an hour and a half on, and one we spent 20 minutes on. About half an hour. So, you know, like I said, sketching looks nice. But... This is what we've got for now, so thank you for joining. I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, the dog just started barking, which is great. <laughs> yes. So I will be finishing, hopefully finishing, Ribs Hollow on my next stream, and then next week for art. Maybe do more Grimm's Hollow art, maybe do something else. Not sure yet. We'll see what the, what the vibe's like, I guess. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Farewell, and have a wonderful day.